Hello Oddish Nation, it's a very different video today. It's a very different video today, no Precure, not even any Pokemon, maybe. I'm looking at my old trinkety boxes, I've got two huge boxes like this, full of memory stuff. Um, I don't know what people call these, it's like keepsake stuff, memory, trinkets, who knows? But I've got two whole boxes to dig through, so let's have a little nose. I haven't looked at these for ages. Uh, I might have gone in there last year to stick some stuff in, but I don't really remember what's in here. So um, this is going to be fun. We'll start off with this big old plastic black one, which has all of my tiny, tiny childhood stuff in it. Like baby and primary school kind of stuff. We have a tiny, tiny box. It's shoes. They could literally fit on my finger. I think that's like my first ever pair of shoes. Oh, this is drip then. <laughs> have an Animal Crossing French Easter card that I made in school, apparently. <laughs> it has a comic about Peter the Duck from Harry Hill. Um he can't catch the easter egg because he hasn't got any arms that's a deep deep look into my inner psyche i have this very off color club penguin april fools magazine comic that um this is apparently this is issue four <laughs> me and my friends used to make proper issues of these comics and this is like the only surviving one we um we loved Club Penguin back in the day. The next issue apparently came out um, in May 2009. I don't know if that ever came to be, but that's also a look into what kind of child I was. We um, had a radio show at school. There was a radio club for like a few months in my last year. And I used to write us out scripts for the presenter sections from this teddy bear paper, Disneyland autograph book. Um, that's, it's so old it's falling apart in the middle. I have printed photos! Whoa! I thought it was just a couple but the pile just kept getting bigger. I have tons! It's baby tea! That's my ninth birthday. I've got a lovely um, hand-drawn Mew on my birthday cake. That's a stitch. There's another one of me with my little birthday cake. That's... <laughs> I was a horrifying demon child and now I'm a horrifying demon adult. Here's me being held against my will by Mickey Mouse. That's another one, a tiny, tiny tea. Look at nine little heels. I was truly a fashion girly from day one. Another iconic bit of drip. A lot of these pictures are just random shots of like birthday parties and stuff. Whoa, it's Sam! <laughs> She's so overexposed and about 10 years old. There's tiny tiny me you can tell it's an, a relic because i don't have a fringe um we had like an end of year school leave us disco in year six and we all belted out the karaoke we need a poo notebook with um with sonic fan fiction in apparently <laughs> and my sonic ocs apparently Knuckles's cousin. The chow. <laughs> My handwriting hasn't really improved. I can't really make out what any of it's meant to say. Whoa, look, there's more Sonic OCs. But um, I think I must have probably been about seven when I hooked up whatever this was. Some top tier illustrations there. The Wizard of Oz from our school play. Um, this was a time in my life where I got cast as a tree. Um, I escaped wearing brown face paint all over my face because it gave me an allergic reaction. So looking back, I am the only kid who was a tree who isn't covered in brown paint. Um, so I'm safe from criticism. Nice black and white poster just to show how old I am. Yeah, I totally forgot about this, but my primary school would make you keep a journal if you went on holiday. Um, 
it was like a oh well you're missing out on your education so you're gonna do something educational with your holiday an old english book that's actually <laughs> fallen apart i don't know why i've got this this is just english work from year seven i've got a doodle of card captor sakura <laughs> i have a lot of doodles of card captor sakura i've got a storyboard I don't know how I got away with this one, but I drew my French teacher as the devil in one of my... Um, and there's someone with an angel chicken. A photo album which I think is empty. It looks very empty. Oh, it's, it's me with a monkey. <laughs> and... Me with an ice cream. <laughs> another journal from another holiday. Um, yeah, this... Whoa, I've got so many stickers um the school obviously loved my silly look there's oddish uh thursday the 15th of march in what year was this 2007 i bought pokemon ranger on the ds uh, this was the same holiday that i got my sweet sweet oddish all the way back in 2007 this oddish is old i wonder if there's a page about when i got oddish because i I remember um I remember finding Oddish in this toy shop in one of the malls and I remember the horrible horrible noise that I let out when I saw Oddish. Uh the Leaky Tiki Village sign, that was a highlight of Florida. Whoa, here it is. Oddish has a birthday now. Wednesday the 21st of March is little Oddish's birthday, so I'm gonna write that on my calendar. And I have tons of tickets and postcards stuck in there, which is really cute. And there's penguins! Oh my god. Um, <laughs> I have my nursery school report. Look at the state of A. That was 2000 and like two or three, I guess. It doesn't have a date on it. The report simply says that I like routine and I don't like playing with other kids. <laughs> Um, I think that really said it all. Really beaten up folder to go with my Disneyland Paris holiday journal from 2009. Put a penguin on it, of course. I can't believe I've kept some of these trinkets. Um, these are binoculars that we got from Disneyland. <laughs> what else have I got here? My birthday card. A map. Well, it looks like it's been signed by someone. I'm not sure why that's even in there. But travel documents what's this uh, eurostar tickets oh my god i keep everything i've got an old passport i've got a leaflet for orlando mall i've got a national trust map of devon i don't know why i have this i've got a leaflet about national trust holidays i don't think i've ever been on a national trust holiday i don't know where i picked this up Weirdly enough, I remember this bit of paper. <laughs> I think I kept it because I had a load of drawings on it. But um, this was a game that we did in year six. We did a topic in school about the Beatles. It was awful. Me and my friends hated it. And we had to make as many words as we could out of the sentence, imagine there is no Evan. And um, I hate gin is on there. <laughs> oh. I have a leaflet from the Bath Fashion Museum. Um, I actually completely forgot I ever went there. Um, it must have been like maybe 2012-ish. I went on a trip to Bath with my friend for some reason and we did a lot of cool touristy stuff and I probably took some photos of it somewhere but I was in awe at the Fashion Museum. I've got tons and tons of like certificates from school for like random crap got a participation award i've got another school report which will probably be hilarious no doubt it's for 2003 slash 2004 um it says i know how to use punctuation i have general knowledge that's true my target for maths is to achieve more work apparently i'm a strong character who knows my own mind that's so true thank you whoever wrote this report i've got a first aid workbook um this was probably something from Girl Guides or something. I don't know why I've got that. Again, I've got um, Durham Park. That must be somewhere I've went with friends or something. Oh, I have a lot, a lot of um, school certificates and stuff. I have, um, I have the agenda from our Paris trip. 
that we went on in like year eight. <laughs> Um, if this is any testament to my magical girl autism, I have a card cap for Sakura word search that I printed off from Google when I was like 10 and I'm still in here. I have a drawing of Hello Kitty. <laughs> An oddish comic. These are, um, these are fantastic pieces of art. Um, I, alongside my Club Penguin comics, I wrote oddish comics and they were all just Garfield comics redrawn as oddish and Pichu as Odie <laughs> and I actually I think I drew a whole I got a workbook from school and I made the whole thing into a giant one um I think my friend has that one because I gave it to him as a gift I have a diary from Brownie Camp um 2008 so I would have been like 10 wow it's not bad for a botched job of paper that I stuck together with sellotape I've got my little workbook from Brownies still, which is cute. I really loved Brownies when I was a kid, and then I went to Girl Guides when I was in secondary school, and it wasn't as fun, because all the girls were too old and mean. Um, I have, like, a lot of bath <laughs> leaflets. I guess I just kind of ended up hoarding them. Um, that's like, another thing I'm really guilty of hoarding is my birthday card. <laughs> I don't care who they're from and how old they are. I just, I keep all of the birthday cards that I receive because I like getting cards. Oh, wow. I have this. I'm not sure what it is. Uh, a CD-ROM with video screensavers. Um, yeah, that's a, I wonder if that's worth money nowadays. I have my horrible, horrible university student ID. I think the worst thing I found in this box is the photo of me at brownie camp it was um we did like a tribal theme we learned about different tribes and um we made it in the background you see we made like a little tp it was a disaster i think i probably drew oddish on it um and we tied tights around our heads for some reason i have um baby's first magical girl oc i drew this in year six. Uh, she turns into a black cat magical girl. She is super cool. <laughs> I should draw her again sometime. I miss my magical girls. Box number two, this has a bit more modern-y stuff in it. Um, look, there's me and Sam on the side. Isn't that cute? I've got Discovery Cove Pass. That was really fun. I got to smooch smooch with a dolphin. I've got another another hoarded card. Does it get do you get snow in Cornwall? Why are you looking at the back? It's all the signs that it's from Kira. A Disneyland ticket card thing. <laughs> My Pokemon Scarlet and Violet sticky labels that I'm too scared to use for anything. I <laughs> an embarrassing amount of packaging from my pre cure key rings um i can't bring myself to get especially this one i can't bring myself to get rid of them i think pre cure packaging is really nice i've got the card um from a brazilian steakhouse i have this lovely art print that my friend bought me at ncm one year i have no idea who the artist is um it's a kind of washed out because i had it on my wall for a few years um it's very precious to me. Another card from Kira. A, for a lovely grand friend who is 24 today. No abuse on the back this time. Oddish. Um, <laughs> it's, a, it's another hoarded card. Um, it says hip hip. And then on the inside, it's all the lyrics to Island in the Sun by Weezer. Fantastic work by my boyfriend. I couldn't tell you for love or money who this is from. It says avo card for you and then i'm not even sure if i recognize it might be from sam but every single word is bean and then there's a cool bean at the bottom but i haven't got a clue who this is from oh look at this one it's a precure christmas card that kira made for me and it's really pretty on the inside my old phone case which is um <laughs> I panicked. I didn't have anything to sign. I met bears in trees and I went, hey guys, uh, I really want your signatures. Can you sign my phone case? And it's held up okay. Um, 
sorry George but your signature is fading a bit but it's kind of stood the test of time which is nice I have more hoarded Christmas cards I have Barry B Benson I have this nice little box and inside um these were gifts from the family I stayed with in Japan uh, I think they are um girls day dolls no I've <laughs> They've just sort of been in this box, in my trinket box, ever since I came back from Japan because I'm too scared to take them out. I also have a uh, purse which was actually made by, I think, the grand of the family that I stayed with. It's super duper cute and it's, uh, it's filled with all the yen that I didn't spend when I was out there. I'm also kind of awful for hoarding train tickets. This is disgustingly off colour because it's just been in storage for so long. I have a signed shirt from primary school. Um, I was not the most popular kid, so I have a lot of abuse on here. Like, um, someone wrote Big Bum on the back and we had to draw a rainbow to try and cover it up. Someone's written, Poo is great. <laughs> Every time I find bits of folded paper, I feel full of dr- This, <laughs> it's Southwest Enders. It's a Cornish parody of East Enders that we wrote in year eight. And then, um, we made a pilot episode and then it never went any further. <laughs> nice trinket from when I was in brownies uh I don't know where all these I guess they peeled off because the sticky stuff kind of just wasted away but I have um a little squirrel <laughs> I have healthy heart I because I ate three carrots I remember busting my ass to get this one I wanted this one so bad number fun it was not fun I wonder where the rest of them I maybe they're all kicking around in the bottom of the box somewhere but I have a Miku made out of oh no she snapped but uh i have perla bead miku and i was gonna make her into a little key ring and i guess i just didn't i have a postcard from jess <laughs> and a birthday card from jess <laughs> this one gives me jess vibes <laughs> yep yeah. uh, i believe in the heart of the christmas card very good i have the instructions <laughs> uh for a japanese snack box that she sent me as a christmas gift one year this is another postcard oh special friend a this is a christmas card and it's so pink and you can tell it's from kira him who is him and that's how bad me be and that's a giant toblerone this guy says it's party time <laughs> i forgot i had this it's the Christmas story as you've never seen it before. It's Jesus manga. And we, um, we found they were being given out in spoons once. And obviously we were all drunk and we we're like, yeah, give us the Jesus manga. <laughs> Look at this. I have, yeah, I have, I have no words for the existence of this. Look, like, look at that. A very long letter from Jess that she wrote me for one of my birthdays. Oh, this is my little pouchy pouch that Kira made me once. I only have a lot of letters from Jess and a lot of Christmas cards that I've been hoarding. I have the ticket for Universal Studios in Japan. I have a drawing of... This is the Mad Scientist and these are all her pets. That's Jim the Banana Ostrich, his feet glow in the dark. That is Dan, he's just a horse apparently, or oh no, it's a llama. Okay, yeah, Dan, Dan the llama, of course. That's Spencer the sloth. He went on to become Spencer the circus sloth. Um, the moo shark, Martin the spider. And that's the soul seeing cat. Um, I say this like it's the most normal thing in the world. I keep the envelopes from my cards as well because my friends always do me cute drawings. Uh, another travel leaflet, but it's from Japan this time, so it's worth keeping. It's the Golden Temple, I think, in Kyoto. I have another very horribly off-colour t-shirt. Um, I made this in textiles when I was in year seven. It's Hatsune Miku. Um, I thought it was the coolest thing ever at the time, but in hindsight, it's horrendous. <laughs> um, I had a vision. I have some drawings from my sister, that's Frankie, and that's the card captor's card. I have more little trinkets from Japan, it's my um, my little hand towel that I bought from a, we went, I think it was Old Town Kyoto, we went to a gift store and I got this cute little hand towel, and I have this little, <laughs> I have a lot of little hand towels that my family gave me and I never ever used. <laughs> 
Oh, I have a brownie badge. I have my Japan lanyard from the science fair. I have... Oh no, it's broken! This was the toothbrush bot. Um, we had a motor up here and you put a battery in it and the uh, the motor would vibrate and he'd like, like a hex bug. <laughs> it would scuttle around like a bug. I have a golf ball. Um, this was the day I... I took a swing and I just launched, <laughs> I launched the golf club, it went flying. Um, the moral of the story is don't take me to play golf. I have a, I don't know where the hell this came from, it's like a, <laughs> a dinosaur cut, that goes hard as hell. I have me as a Neko Atsume cat. I made these as gifts for my best friends in like, it must have been like 2016, I made the three of us as Neko Atsumes because we were all obsessed with that game. An owl! He's a little brownie badge again. He is super cute. More train tickets. I've got cinema tickets. Uh, it's another cinema ticket to see Captain Marvel in 2019. This is my flight ticket to Osaka. Um, I have more cinema tickets. That's Captain Marvel again. Avengers Endgame. Uh, I was super into the MCU before it kind of fell off. <laughs> Congratulations, you're divorced from your television degree. Um, my sister's contribution. Some things never change because my brother wrote, very proud, thought you were dumb to be honest. And then there's kind of an unintelligible scrawl from my sister. Mary Pugmas. Japan Baskin Robbins, my beloved. I have a Christmas card handmade from my lovely friendies. Congratulations, you're now 12 from my uni friends. I have my school tie in here for some reason. <laughs> I have a bookmark from my parents' wedding. That's actually a keepsake, <laughs> unlike half of this crap. I have another temple leaflet. We did a lot of temple trips around Kyoto. It's actually quite jarring, like, watching anime and then looking looking at the surroundings in those episodes. I'm like, whoa, I've been there. Um, I like that it's realistic. I have a card from the girl that I stayed with in Japan. Look how cute. So, um, it's it's wood <laughs> and it's a nice little letter from her and the family just saying thank you for visiting and that they had a lot of fun. I had a lot of fun in Japan apart from the part where I got mercury poisoning and had to go to hospital. Wow, I have one of these. Um, and it sh um, I know these are like kind of sought after now. <laughs> I had tons of these when I was a kid, and now I have barely any. I have a really, really faded cinema ticket for Spider-Man. I have tons of these My Little Pony cards. Um, I don't know if these like came with the toys or something, but I've got, I've got a metric ton of these cards. This cinema ticket is so faded, I can't actually read it. It's My Little Pony the movie. Of course it is. The scroll with glasses on. Oh, this is a nice little um. My brother drew me this. I don't know what year this was, but the fact that my brother drew me something really says it is a testament. Another card from my friendies. My baggage claim card for my suitcase in Japan. It's me and Kira playing Connect Four. A very yellow off-colour newspaper extract from the first ever Geek Fest. And here I am as Sailor Moon the newsletter from the Japanese school that I went to and it tells you about the food. Um, it was mostly for us exchange students and well look there's a schedule. I never really properly read it because they'd hand it out in the mornings and we'd always be in such a rush to go do stuff. Oh deep fried cheese. <laughs> I can't remember what this is. I think this might have been something I got at the calligraphy class or I might have got it from the shrine. I'm not sure. Of course I have USJ map. Um, I really want to go back and do USJ again because I want to, I, if it's still there I want to do the Sailor Moon attractions. Uh, Nijo Castle. All the Japanese kids gave out cute little business cards. The Japan Science Fair. This is our program of events. I... <laughs> was kind of a hack at this fair. I wasn't a science student. I didn't contribute to our group's um, project in any way. I just kind of wandered around. Another birthday card. <laughs> Here's a relic for you guys. Jumpstart performing at Anna Manga Pop in 
2019 wow what a year a ticket to watch star wars episode eight <laughs> a drawing from my brother again um the remains of my photography a level work me coo from my sister when she was probably about three years old the invite to my school prom hi ah, wristband from devcon i don't know what year this was or anything but that's one for my scrapbook i think <laughs> i've got so many stupid birthday cards i got 18 today <laughs> 21 today brackets you stupid this is from my brother um a little heart-shaped picture of me and me friendies the 18th birthday card this was the best birthday card ever um i think i was only like 14 when jess made this for me and there's nothing in there to signify the year but we were obsessed with the sims and she made me a grim reaper card i've got another train ticket i'm kind of drowning in junk here at this point i've got a letter that comes with the purchase from a certain designer store i've got more japanese packaging um i still have these erasers somewhere because i never used them but they were little sushis for some reason i kept the present bag from one of my birthday presents from kira it says oh whoa what's this a present you're old lol to tea happy womb leaving day um yeah i can't get rid of something as funny as that can i this is a key ring my sister made me out of wood at school and she drew one of my ocs on it which is super cute a ticket from my ghostbusters t-shirt because it was the 30th anniversary this thing uh it's got bead drill on it another handmade card um she repurposed a card that she had made in like year one <laughs> i think that's really funny whoa actual calligraphy i can't believe i have this actually it's got a leaving video from our school on it and i think it's just 10 minutes of the teachers dancing around it was like 2014 or something so i think it was like pharrell williams or something a good luck card this is from uh i think it was our debut performance in my old love live group and kira very lovingly made us this big card and i ended up keeping it for some reason um obviously only one of the group could keep it and everyone's like oh t should have it so here i am with the endless music memorial card <laughs> kyoto aquarium uh this was really cool they had penguins and i got to eat turtle bread <laughs> oh no way i still have this little penguin <laughs> ah i had a yellow one as well but i used to take both of these penguins with me everywhere when i was a kid and the yellow one must have like falling up uh, oh, oh no i think the yellow one fell out of my bag or something when i was carrying her around town which is really sad but i still have this one i used to dress these guys up in like my doll clothes and stuff and they were my most favorite little things in the world um i think i got them as prizes at brownies a business card from a decoden store because <laughs> i was like yeah i'll get a decoden case and then i never ever did michael bay noise explosion explosion why are you reading the back this is a letter from my brother um that he slid under my bedroom door one night saying thanks for letting me borrow your dvd <laughs> i have a christmas card from kira again you can always tell what's from kira because they're always so cute and handmade wow I have a Polaroid from Yumi at six. That's nice. A nice drawing of Frock Morton and me and Kira. <laughs> Graduation booklet from uni. Um, I don't even think I have it. I didn't even look at that. I've got my disembarkation card for Foreigner from Japan. This is horrendously off colour because it's so old. I have a snow globe of Paris. Um it's so old it's chipped away and discolored and it's gross i have this tiny ice cream la 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 i think this was from a japanese bath bomb or something i have a tamagotchi it's uh really rusted so i can't actually get the screw out to put another battery in but uh deep in my heart one day i believe i'll fix this thing bunch of key rings oh there's the <laughs> there's the battery and i just lost the motor on the floor for my um 
for the toothbrush hex bug. I have this magazine that I picked up in, I think it was Animate in Japan. Um, I think it's just a directory of like all the stuff that was being released around that time. Uh, there's Black Butler. <laughs> Um, I think there's a Love Live single being advertised in here somewhere. Um, not much came out in 2014 that I knew about. But there it is, Love Live! Wow! And oh, I didn't even notice there's a little card kept to Sakura. Oh no, this is so distracting. Whoa! More Love Live. I haven't seen any Precure in any of my Japan stuff, which is a bit sad. Whoa, wait, Precure mentioned! Um, I guess this is the Halloween parade. Look, there's a Precure cosplayer! Yeah. I didn't know what Precure was when I went to Japan. It was 2014, it was the 10th anniversary. There was Happiness Charge merch everywhere. I went to Toys R Us to try and find my sister a souvenir, and there was aisles and aisles of Precure, and I was like, what the hell is this? Um, and I'm really bummed out that I then discovered Precure like two years later. A wall calendar that Jess made me for a gift in like 2016. Oh, I know what this is. <laughs> How the hell did she find this from? It's a tight, it's made of like glass or something. It's zingy. <laughs> it's from the, it's from those energy adverts. I was obsessed with him back in the day and I, I don't know. We made a religion based around this guy. He was our god. And um, it was blasphemy to say moo or something. This is a little, this is another trinket from Japan. Um, this, they like sent little toys around on the um, conveyor belt at the sushi restaurant. And I got a capsule with this in it. A mechanical pencil with Elmo on it. Oh, it's from Universal in Japan. And a Rainbow Dash themed bracelet just made me. As you can see, a lot of my memory stuff is to do with Jess. Um... Oh, this is a necklace. Uh, it's, a, it's glass and it's got like nice little ribbons as the chain. I picked this up in Paris for a market and I think Sam might have had a matching one. Um, it's super cute. I should start wearing it again. I have number 66 from, um, from the table. Num I have a table number from Spoons because, you know, execute order 66. My friend actually came up to me one night and he slipped this in my hand and went, there you go. <laughs> so I have my own Weatherspoons table number. I have a little Hello Kitty. I have more Club Penguin trinkets. I have this tiny little eraser and I have the coin. I'm running out of stuff. I have a SeaWorld admission band. Photo cards of West that Beth lovingly made for me back in 2016 after we watched um, Blazing Transfer Students like once. There's more Japan bits at the bottom, that's nice. I've got more of these little newsletters. Um, there were some interesting topics on them, like each one would tell you about um, different like cultural things. Uh, this one has an article about cosplay and lunch parties. Apparently we were allowed to just leave the campus and get a bus into town but I was never told this. Yeah, multicultural science fair, woohoo. I made a lot of um, friends who I still have on social media, which is nice. Our cultural ceremony. Um, <laughs> it was a bit embarrassing because we had like the Japanese school um, presented like tea ceremonies and like kimonos. And there was the Australian school who like sang some Australian songs and all. And then obviously here in Cornwall, we have about as much culture as a pot of yogurt. Uh, so we did the terrific day dance. This was the day we went out and about into Japan. We did a tea ceremony this day. That was really good. I remember that. I was the only one who liked it. This little note from one of the Japanese girls. Wait, no. This is from Jess. It's a birthday card that she'd made. I thought it was a little Japan trinket because it's so small and the little origami on it. I have, I have a certificate to say that I did all the science stuff. This is... The mall. <laughs> I love collecting a good old mall leaflet. I think this was the one where I got lost and ended up in like a Hello Kitty store or something. <laughs> I'm kind of bummed I didn't um, look in many of the stores actually in Japan because they had a Wego and all that and I really wish I'd gone in there and picked some stuff up. Ah, uh, my brother wrote me a note to say he was excited for series two of Miraculous Ladybug. <laughs> More stuff from Japan. 
Um, I think this is a leaflet about their university or something. I had a big welcome pack and I've kept everything, obviously. This is offensively glittery. I have a tiny letter from Jess. I have, whoa, more Japan stuff. This is Science Fair Program. Here's a different magazine from the Animate store. Um, I kept picking these up when I went in because they were free and I liked looking at the pictures and stuff. Um, again, I don't think there's anything I really know in this one. There's a Love Live Blu-ray advert. This, this is really kind of like a weedy time capsule. And that is everything that I've been hoarding. That was a fun, nostalgic little um, look at how much stuff I've got hoarded away. Um, maybe I'll do this again soon with my scrapbook and I'll do a wow look at my scrapbook video because I'm having a lot of fun making it even though it's kind of a mess. But until next time bye 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 oddish friends. Thank you.